In this video, we'll talk about lifestyle choices for a strong, healthy heart. There comes a time in everyone's lives when we have to decide and commit to make healthy lifestyle changes. Oftentimes, it's when they realize that their body is starting to break down in the terminal stage of a disease or experience the pain of losing a loved one from ill health. These situations are often the turning point of their lives where they finally decide on the best course for them and their family. It's always better to live a healthy life full of vitality, youth, and vibrancy than to live a sick life that constantly relies on health support. Our environment plays an important role to our heart health, so if your living condition is not conducive for your health, such as living in a heavily polluted area with poor hygiene and health facilities, the best option is to relocate to somewhere else. Our body and heart forms an extremely complex organic living machine, far more advanced than anything man can create. But like all machines, it needs the correct fuel and lubrication to maintain it. Have you heard the saying that your body is your vehicle on this life's journey? Thus, you should honor your body more than anything else. Think about it. Would you put cheap vegetable oil in your new car or try and fill the tank with cheap, dirty, old fuel? Then why would you do that to your body? You can always buy a new car, but you cannot get a new body. Well, maybe a new heart, but what a hassle and expense. Surely it's sensible to only use the very best fuels for your body. Of course, what I mean by fuel is your diet intake. Only choose the foods that will benefit your health not destroy your body. So, what are the best health exercises? There are a lot of benefits that you can reap from exercising. It can help prevent heart disease as well as diabetes, lose weight, and also improve your overall fitness level. The best and most effective exercise to achieve these desired outcomes is high-intensity exercise coupled with slightly longer periods of active recovery. This can be done by walking for three minutes at your normal speed and then walking one minute at a brisk pace. By raising and lowering your heart constantly through simple high-intensity workouts, you can have better vascular function, burn more calories, and also enhance the body's detoxification functions. Another good exercise for your heart is a total body non-impact sport such as tennis or squash, swimming or rowing, taekwondo or other martial arts. All of these involve the use of many different muscles to give your body a good workout without overtaxing any one area, but making your heart work hard to supply them all. If you also incorporate some slow intervals, you will create your own ideal workout. Core workouts like doing press-ups and squats help to strengthen the core muscles, giving a good foundation. People who are active all day are generally healthier than those who exercise 30 minutes to an hour a day, then live a sedentary lifestyle for the rest of the day. But bear in mind that not all exercises are good for the body. For instance, jogging or running on a hard surface for long distances are probably the worst type of exercise, although they do strengthen the heart. It's because such endurance type exercises wear the body out quickly and strain your joints in the long term especially if you don't have a pair of comfortable shoes or proper running techniques. Equally, it's not advisable to perform any exercise that you've not trained or warmed up for. Doing so will only result in unwanted injuries and even trigger a heart attack due to adrenaline surge. If you have an exercise routine that you enjoy, then follow it and improve it by adding to it rather than changing to something you may not enjoy. How do you reduce stress? Countless studies prove that psychological factors can contribute to heart disease and possible heart attacks. Anxiety, anger, depression, hostility, as well as social isolation can affect your heart attack risk factor. Workplace stress and financial stress can increase your risk of a heart attack by 50%. After the 9-11-2001 terrorist attacks, it was found that people who felt high levels of stress just after the attacks were twice as likely to develop high blood pressure and had a threefold chance of developing heart disease over the following two years. Similar results have been observed after large earthquakes and other natural disasters. Now, let's talk about the importance of environmental conditions, clean air, and water. Water and air pollution are significant contributors to people developing heart disease and stroke. A stroke is like a heart attack to the brain. 
staying indoors too often might not be as safe as you think because there's indoor air pollution. Pollution comes from a mixture of different contaminants such as fumes from household cleaning products, wood-burning stoves and fireplaces, secondhand cigarette smoke, vapors from cleaning products, paint solvents, pesticides, insecticides, and carbon monoxide. Exposures to low levels of CO can cause a cardiovascular patient to have increased heart rhythm, chest pain, and irregularities that make it difficult to exercise. Indoor CO can come from inside furnaces, dryers, gas water heaters, space heaters, ranges, and fireplace and wood stoves. There's evidence that several minerals commonly found in drinking water may contribute to heart disease or aggravated symptoms. Lead, arsenic, fluoride, and chlorine exposure are all clearly associated with heart disease.